the most common thing that we see in our office is heel pain. And there's actually an epidemic of heel pain in the United States today. Now it used to be that we thought that we would see mostly 35 to 55 year old overweight patients who have heel pain. But that's not what we see anymore. We see kids that are eight years old all the way through grandma that has heel pain. So there's really three different causes of heel pain that are probably the most common. Number one is plantar fasciitis. Boy, that's a big word that is basically pain in your arch, pain in the insertion of the ligament that holds up your arch. And most commonly that is caused by wearing flip-flops, running around barefoot, or wearing very unsupportive shoes. And unfortunately, with the activities that we do, our foot needs more structure. So the simple treatment for plantar fasciitis is often icing, stretching, wearing better shoes, wearing an over-the-counter arch support, and if that arch support doesn't work, or if you really have kind of a funky foot, then a custom orthotic is 85% successful. A wonderful thing to add to the armamentarium, especially if you're a runner or a significant athlete. Now, what about the other causes of heel pain? Well, kids come in with heel pain all the time and their moms think they have plantar fasciitis, but really they don't. What they have is irritation of the growth plate of the heel bone. Literally, their Achilles tendon is too tight, that's that big tendon on the back of your ankle, and their plantar fascia is too tight, which is that ligament that holds up your arch, and it's playing tug of war with your growth plate of your heel bone. And as kids go through their first adolescent growth spurt between eight and 10 years old, that area becomes more loosey-goosey. And if they have a little bit of a foot deformity, either they inherited a real high arch foot from someone, or they inherited that flat foot that we all know we're gonna blame dad for, then they really need more support. You can start with simple things like icing and stretching and heel cups, but oftentimes these kids need custom orthotics so that they can be pain-free through their high school years. The third reason that you can have heel pain is actually a cornucopia or a mixed bag of things. And these are the things that people don't think about. Did you know that if you have S1, L5 radiculopathy, which is a pinched nerve in your back, it can give you heel pain? Did you know that you may be walking around on a calcaneal stress fracture? And that's a stress fracture of your heel bone that can literally explode at any moment if you don't treat it. You can have Achilles tendonitis, which is tendonitis of that big tendon in the back of your ankle. You can have other things like gout. You can have spondylolisthesis, which is actually a pinching of your spinal cord. So if you've had heel pain, and you've treated it conservatively, and you've had it more than two weeks, please see your podiatrist. Because we start out with simple, stupid things like stretching and icing and better shoes and get you back to all your activities quickly. Now, if you wait six months, you wait 12 months, it may take you a whole year to get better, and it increases the chance that you're gonna need something more significantly invasive like surgery. So if you have heel pain, I urge you, don't go to the drugstore and buy $5,700 worth of stuff to shove in your shoe. See your podiatrist today. Not only is it going to be more cost effective, but you'll get better faster.